What's up guys, Unfair here again with uh, some Dragon's Prophet. Uh, after the first video where I pretty much just made a character, wandered around, asked you guys what you thought, um, you've all pretty much told me what you thought, and what's really even more remarkable than that. Alright, check this out. Now I'm level 16, so I've jumped a little bit, um, I've accomplished some things. Uh, I didn't want to just go through, you know, kind of a whole series of just me running around doing boring quests, because... Let's face it, the game has a lot of just run here, kill these, fetch these types of quests, and you guys aren't all that interested in that. Um, that you'll see some of that if I keep doing this, but I'm going to try and, and keep as much of that out of the uh, thing. But as you can see, uh, I've made a guild. But what's cool is, is in that guild, uh, some of my crew has joined and some of my watchers here. I mean... Vargos is Vadalon, who you see commenting on a lot of our videos. Obviously, you know who Kramik is. Uh, Wiley, another watcher and uh, part of our crew here. Uh, I mean, this is pretty cool, right? I mean, we actually all decided. I mean, everybody saw me play this this game on video, and they're all like, okay, that looks kind of cool. We're going to have to check this out. And before I even knew that these guys were downloading this stuff or doing this, I mean, they're telling me, oh, well, I'm in-game already, and whatever. I know Rabid Gorilla's in it, too. So, um, you know, it's just been something that we've been messing around with, having a good time. Um, you know, it being free is a really good help to that. Uh, but a few things, as you can see, if, uh, for you eagle-eyed folks that watch these things, uh, you could probably notice that my station cash amount went down. Yes, I found the hook that makes you want to spend some money in this game. And that is uh, housing and holding and capturing dragons. Um, let me explain that first. Uh, there are a lot of dragons in this game. I mean, a lot. Uh, we went scouting around just two of the starting zones, alright? And I mean, you can kind of see the different variations of what I've got. I mean, there's... These are mostly my flyers. So, like, I'll show you. Let's, um, let's bring somebody out here. Uh, do this button. Alright, check this out. He's pretty cool looking, right? All, like, pink and kind of whatever. Alright, well, check this out. He can fly. Pretty neat, right? So, certain dragons have certain characteristics, alright? So, for example, what I learned is check this guy out. Alright, this is actually a really, 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 really good one. Because he has two souls. Um, so when we were out training dragons, I may have this completely wrong. Um, where I'm not understanding this quite correctly. And I'm sure I can teach these dragons more things as I go. I'll get to that in a minute. But one thing that I was noticing as I was capturing certain things. Some of them don't actually have... I think I got... No, like this guy. This guy here doesn't even actually have a soul. He has abilities. So he has a hunting knowledge, which basically means if I send him out on missions, which I'll get to that again in a minute, um, you know, or skill training mastery, he really doesn't have much that's good. I mean, I can take or leave him. He could go away. This guy, on the other hand, has life calling, so it heals yourself. Um, Howls of Anger, which is... Uh, the, the, the attack speed, so it's a buff. I mean, this this is a really good dragon. I mean, this is a cool dragon to have. He's got cool abilities. You know, novice woodworking knowledge, herb knowledge, um, and skill training mastery, as well as current strike. Increase your pet strike, paralyzes target, rending, blah, 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 whatever. So it's good stuff. I mean, and then like this thing. All right, actually, let's land, and I'll show you something really cool. Alright, look at this thing. This is a tanking dragon. If that was not obvious enough as it is. But, what you'll notice, I mean, he's obviously not a flyer. He's a ground guy. Alright. I got troubles. Pew, pew, pew. Alright, let's, let's get these things dead here so I can get back to... Talking to you guys here. Alright, I might as well just go ahead and loot all these up. Apparently he's still working at it. Alright, he's a little bit of a weakling. So, I mean, he's a... He's pretty cool, alright? But he's obviously a ground guy. I mean, he's not going to be doing too much in, in terms of uh, flying, obviously. He can kind of hop. He, he looks a little ridiculous doing it, but he can do it. Uh, we need to head back to a town. Uh, you can see how quests work. I mean, I've got just a billion quests to do out here. And you can see on the side of my screen, you know, 
collect the feathers, get bare intestines. Um, you know, it's it's very typical MMO questing, but I find it ridiculously addicting too. I mean, I, we've all played the same formula of go here, kill these, grab these types of quests for the last how many years. Um, this game does not do much to change that up. It's really the same formula we've all been experiencing and all playing in MMOs for years. But what makes this game unique and what makes it fun is the dragon uh, prospect. When I went around the other night uh, to different zones and different places uh, capturing you know, different dragons and trying to find different things with different skill sets, that was fun. Such like, I'll show you. I've actually got a full stable of things here. All right. Now, this is what's even more interesting. Like, uh, here, let's pull this guy out because he's kind of cool looking. But uh, this is what's even more interesting, okay? You can send... Uh, where is the button? Dragon process, okay? I can send my dragons who are stabled, okay, on missions. So... If you played, like, Star Wars The Old Republic, this will seem very familiar to you. Um, pretty much, it's like, oh, what do I want him to do? Do I want him to gain training experience? So if I do, how many hours? Okay, five hours worth of one hour, five hours, six, twelve, eighteen. They start to cost you station cash as you get higher up in there. You can see that. Um, you know, but if I set him for five hours, it's going to cost me 1,250 gold. I got almost 6,000, so that's fine. And he will go and get himself 330 experience, which means he will level himself in that time. Uh, same thing goes here. I mean, you can teach them a new skill, you know, and training experience. Uh, you can go have them get ore, you know, and dragon provisions. I have no idea what dragon provisions do. I assume that's dragon food. Uh, same thing, herb collecting, wood, leather, claw, hunting. This is cool stuff. You know, so, I mean, things like this are really neat. Uh, so, uh, if you're into the whole micromanaging thing, I mean, there's a lot for you to do. Um, but here we can start to expand our dragon layer. So, I'll show you. I mean, I'll spend the one um, station cache that it takes to do that. Which means now I can start stabling more dragons off to the side here. So I'm not just limited to these. I'm limited to these being my actives. Meaning these are the ones that can be doing processes. So these are the ones that could be going out gathering or going out learning stuff. So let's just send him on a send him on to this. We may as well have everybody doing something. You know, but um, like for instance, okay, put him away. He's just another glider. Actually, I have two of these. I really don't need two. So let's go ahead and look at their stats, all right? So this one, skill training, blah, 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 he kind of sucks. They both kind of suck. Really, I don't like either of these dragons. So let's just pull them both out and just kind of stick them in a, a different... Uh, they're in my reject pile at this point, as you can see. All right, this guy, he's got Holy Light. Um, which is really nice. That was a heal that I used to have slotted. Uh, you may remember that from the previous video. I don't know if that was in the previous video. It may have been. All right, so like for this guy, all right? Let's add a process to him. Uh, see, I can't even process details. Like, I can't even do skill training on him. He, he doesn't want anything to do with it. But I can add training experience. So I'm just going to go ahead and let him do that. Uh, this thing, I don't even know what its abilities are. Uh, he's kind of crappy, too. Um, let's see here. Maybe we'll find something better. Something worthwhile. Like this guy here, he has a taunt. Taunts are useful. So let's give him a project. Let's just say, um, okay, I can train him in an hour's time or five hours time to learn life reflux as well as a little bit of experience for him which that life reflux would be in addition to his already known taunt ability. I'm going to do that. I mean, why not? You know, that's pretty cool. So, let's see. What do I use as my primaries? I mean, I keep the tank out because the tank is a good tank. I mean, you want a tank. Um, the one that I like flying around on the most, which I haven't showed you guys yet. Well, actually, let's just back out of here for a second because I want to show you these. And take a look at this. There's some serious variety. I mean, this is like a raptor style. I mean, he's cool looking, isn't he? Clearly, he's a damage guy. Um, he doesn't really have any abilities that are worth much. I mean, he's... Um, 
he's got nothing. I mean, he's kind of useless. He doesn't have a soul, um, you know, but he looks cool when you ride him around, and he's really fast. He's a really fast ground mount. So, I mean, he's good to just keep on you just to get the hell out of places and just take off and run. I mean, he's faster than the flyers. All right? But then, the ones that I like... I like this one. You know, this is kind of like my go-to guy right now. Just because I love the look of him. He's like a big-ass giant angry bird. But uh, he just looks cool. Unfortunately, my guy looks a little awkward sitting on it. And I'm really not wearing the right kind of gear for my guy. But the hell, I thought it looked cool. So it is what it is. Um, let's see what else I got here. You guys are probably going to want to see this. This is a very colorful one. Uh, a similar thing. He's another flyer. You can... See, I, I figured out where to get a lot of flyers, and they're pretty cool. I mean, this guy's all spiky-tailed. He looks a little bigger than the bird thing that I fly around on. He's another good option. On top of that, um, he has some really cool abilities. He's a really cool damage guy. I mean, he's not only got an AoE group heal, but, I mean, he's got some serious fire damage to go with it. So I'd be curious, you know, since I'm not going to be doing much at the moment, what if I were to... Uh, we probably have to get off him first. I provide the Alright, what if we were to take this fella, put him in here, alright, and then talk, what can we do with training? Like, can he learn any, yeah, he can learn Paralyzing Current? Ooh. But that's all he can learn right now. Or I can give him training experience. I'm just gonna, um, apparently, um... I'm just going to go ahead and train him up and see what happens. Uh, as far as anything else goes, the Raptor's good for getting around. The tank is obviously good for tanking things. And then it's always good just to have a flyer because you never know when you need to get the hell out of somewhere. So let's see what this guy's stats are. This guy is the one with the really, really, really good stats. I mean, he's got Life Calling and Howl's of Anger. Um, this guy has uh, Dragon Soul Spirit, Increase the Character's Intelligence. This is not really for me. I mean, I'm a Ranger. Um, intelligence does me absolutely no good, but, you know, I can teach him a new skill, or I can send him out to get stuff. So, I mean, I can send him out to get leather, so if I wanted to actually become a leather crafter, which I kind of do, because, you know, I wear leather armor. So, that makes sense. So, we're going to send this guy, um, we're going to send this guy on a mission. So, each of these missions takes, you know, let's see, this one, each takes an hour. Uh, so, I mean, this is like passive stuff. This is the type of stuff that you do when you're like, hey, I want to just go hang out for a while. Um, or I'm just going to log in for a little bit just to set my training and then move on. So, there are options, you know, cool stuff like that. Uh, other things, just because you guys are probably curious, I mean, these are the starting lands that we picked. They're really cool, they're really nice. But, I've got to show you guys something. And I just have to remember which one it is. Greetings. I... Players to wish... Okay, we've got to move to... We're obviously in the wrong channel here. So... Um, there are instances per zone, um, which... Oh, I don't want to click no on that. There are instances per zone. Uh, three, it seems, and they're known as channels here. And as channels, it seems like you can only travel while in channel one. I don't understand why. It's a goofy-ass limitation, but we're just going to work with it. Uh, come on. Zero seconds. There we go. So, let's see. I think it's this one I want to go to. I'm not sure. Is this the fancy What did you need? Fatoya. To do yeah, I think Fatoya is where we want to go. So, we're just going to hang out here for a minute. Um, while we're hanging out here, uh, let's go through. Let's go through the marketplace. All right, I'm starting to understand things a little bit better now. So I mean, standard experience stuff. This is going to give you, you know, experience. You level so fast in this game, don't bother. Um, you know, so I mean, there's costume items, so you can get like costume weapons. You know, I mean, like that shield looks pretty badass. You know, so does this bow. I mean, I would probably pay to have a bow that looks like that. But right now, I'm I'm pretty cool with, with just hanging out. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's just cool, right? But you don't need any of this stuff. I mean, most of the stuff that you're going to buy, you don't need it. 
Um, the things that I have purchased, like I said, uh, were the slots for dragons. And you can see it cost me maybe about 900 station cash for all of them. Which, I don't know what that translates to. I think that's, um... Let's take a look. I hope it doesn't, like, kick me out to their website. Nope. Well, uh... Let's just pretend I'm gonna do this. I'm not really going to. Nope, a web page will be open. Okay, never mind. Um, the... I don't know what the conversion is, but maybe that's maybe around 10 bucks. Uh, 10 bucks is about all you need to really, truly enjoy this game. There are some other imposed limitations, like the other day, uh, while I was waiting for, you know, a couple people to catch up to my level, uh, I was just doing repeatables. Repeatable quests, they're daily quests. Uh, there's a limit to how many you can do a day, and you can reset that limit if you want to spend station cash. I can see where endgame that could be something of an issue where, oh my god, I gotta do these dailies for money, or for tokens, or for items, you know, that kind of a thing. And you just want to force your way through it. But again, I mean, I spent maybe an hour grinding them out. You don't want to have to do that and then reset them. So, I mean, there's really not a lot that you would really want to spend. I mean, you know how a lot of free-to-play games will nickel and dime you to death? There really doesn't seem to be anything in here at the moment that is the type of thing that you could pay to win or you can feel forced into buying. I mean, I look at other free-to-play games like, uh, let's say, Star Wars The Old Republic. All right, that's almost got a bit of a stigma to it when it comes to the free-to-play thing because their restrictions were so ridiculous uh, that... Oh, there's the airship for there, so this one should be coming any time now. Uh, their, their restrictions were so ridiculous and so restrictive that you had no choice but to pay and had no choice but really to become a subscriber. I mean, if you want to play that game... You're not going to be happy with it on a free-to-play. You're going to have to subscribe. This game, I think we can honestly say... I mean, until you get to the end game, I don't know what kind of limitations they may impose on gear or things like that. But, I mean, once I opened up all the dragon slots, everything was open to me. I could go between zones and get whatever the heck I wanted. And I mean, here, look. I went and got me a pink-winged dragon, and he's fun. So... I don't know. I mean, my my initial opinion, uh, the game is cool. It's very familiar in how it works compared to other MMOs. I mean, it's your grinding quests. You know, like go here, kill here, do that kind of thing. Um, you know, you can love or hate that style. It is what it is. Uh, what I have found, though, and what I find very interesting is just how quickly... Like I said, I mean, this isn't even all the people that we know of right now that started playing this game after I put my video up. Uh, and it's really, everybody just grabbed it. Like, all right, cool, we'll try this. It's a quick, free, easy download, and everybody loves it. I mean, you could even see, some of these guys have been putting in some levels. I mean, I'm 16, Adelon's 17 there, Kramik's 15. I mean, I've got some, this is pretty good stuff. I mean, people are actually out there playing this game. And having a good time, I mean, from the people who have talked to me. All right, where the hell is my airship? Hi. Ah. Any time now, man. I want to travel. I want to show these good people one of the other starting zones that's really, really, really freaking pretty. Anyways, um, I've also kicked up my graphic settings since the last time I played in the last video. Uh, you can kind of see that everything just has kind of the bloom effect and, and looks just really, really fantasy friendly. Um, you'll see more as we get moving, but I mean, the attention to detail and things is pretty nice and my dragon seems to want to hump the wall. I, I can't quite figure out what's going on there. But, um, oh, come on, airship. Don't do this to me. All right, screw you. We're leaving. Well... Actually, I don't want to leave. I, I kind of want to go where I wanted to go. Should be here like any time. Uh, one thing that somebody asked before, you know, with flying dragons, is there a height? Yes. You see how my dragon starts to kind of dive down? That's the height limit. So even as a flying dragon, it's not like I can fly up to where that little, like, air skiff is up there or anything like that. I am limited in height to this high. I mean, so you can see how high I am over the town. 
I can fly my way up to the tops of um, you know these towers and stuff. But that's it. So that is a little um, annoying and a little sad because I really wish that I could have, you know, flown further, higher, faster, stronger, you know, that whole kind of thing. Is that my airship finally? Looks like it's just kind of stuck there. Oh my god. Bad feeling. Help us! Help us? No, you help me. Call your goddamn airship. Because you know the second I leave here is when the damn thing is going to spawn. Or it's going to show up and... Well, actually, funny story. Last time we were here, I was screwing around with some of my abilities. I flung myself over the edge. Nearly died. Um, and as I was trying to get back up here, of course, the airship came and left. So that was real fun. And that was the first time we discovered this. Second time, when I tried to get up here to catch the airship on, on its next go... I got stuck and fell through the damn elevator. So it's like, are you kidding me right now? What the hell? Well, apparently we're going to the farm because this airship just isn't going to show. Alright, here we, here we go. We're going this way. We'll take the other one. I wanted to go to the other place, but at this point, I don't know. Maybe they hit a dragon or something on the, on the way there. I have no idea. We'll be fine. I know, just my luck as I start to take off on this one. This one, the other... Oh, that guy just fell to his death. <laughs> the other one will show up. Actually, can we see? Nah, Things are moving too quick now. The airship's kind of moving in a funky manner, but it's all good. It looks cool. Well, let's go up here. Let's check this out. Kind of want to go over there. Let's go hang out on that one. Be like, hey, this is mine. I claim this. So, I mean, that's it. We're, we're traveling. So we're about to get a loading screen here. I'm a little concerned about that... Uh, how comfortable that's got to be, sitting on a scaly dragon with nothing on your ass. I mean, take a look at the loading screen. I mean, she literally has nothing there. I mean, I don't know. And her dragon does not look like a comfortable ride. Just saying. I don't know. To each their own, I suppose. <laughs> Some of the loading screens are a little revealing. You can tell this game was made in Asia somewhere. They're into things like that. I don't know. I don't get it. All right. Come on, loading screen. You were never this long before. Nah. Come on. There we go. All right, well, this is at least a better or decent-looking land here. Um, maybe we can catch the thing from the other side. I have no idea. For now, I'm just going to bail out right here. Whee! I didn't die. All right, where is my flyer? Come on out, buddy. All right, here we go. We're going to go exploring. I just wanted to show you guys some stuff because, I mean, you can see where I caught this guy right here. And I mean, the attention to detail in some things, like this, is just really cool. I mean, it's pretty. And don't get me wrong, I mean, this game is really, really pretty. I mean, I can pretty much just sit here the whole time and just be like, wow, that is really nice. I mean, the water effects, the everything. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of variety in what things could actually look like. Unfortunately, my flyer is pretty slow. But, I mean, this is, like, just all kind of mechanical, whatever, broken down stuff here. It's really neat. Uh, but the place I really wanted to show you, the, the transport doesn't seem to be wanting to take us there. <gasps> that could be it. That could be it. Hold on. 
could be my ride out of here. But there is some extreme diversity in the looks of things and places as you go in the zones. And like I said, it is really pretty nice. Yeah, that, that I think is my ride out. I think that's to the place I wanted to go all along. Let's find out though before we actually get on there. Yes, I'm busy. Yes, Fatoya, take me there. Take me there. Take me there. But I mean, there is some extra. I mean, look at that waterfall. I mean, tell me that isn't pretty. They've done a very nice job. The game is very nice looking. Um, best graphics in the world. Environment graphics are very well done. Character graphics, well, I mean, look at my dude's face. Not the best I've seen. But, uh, I mean, environment graphics, such as, you know, I mean, the, the detail on even the rocks that were flying over here and the waterfalls and all the pretty stuff. Yeah, I mean, this game's got it going on when it comes to world design. Um, okay, now we go through loading screen again. Doesn't that look friendly? I mean, if you saw one of those coming at you, what would be the first thing on your mind? Actually, I don't know what the first thing on my mind would be. I'd be like, um, is that a, I don't know. That's just scary. Or in anything, how did it get the bluish purple skin? Is it dead? I guess that would be my first question. Is that a dead thing or an alive thing? I guess with teeth like that, it doesn't really matter, because if it's coming after you, you're probably not going to enjoy it. Then again, it looks like it's got a, a belt buckle with teeth right over its, you know, happy bits down there. It looks like it could be painful if something slips the wrong direction. Well, then again, I can't really tell if it's male or female, because, I mean, it's, it's, um... I don't know. All right, enough about the loading screens. All right, check this place out. I would have to fly pretty far, I think, to get to where I wanted to, to show you like the coolest thing ever. I think it's here. No, it might have actually been in the other zone. Wait, do we end up back? Dang it! We ended up back where I started? No, this isn't where I started. This is, no, this is entirely different. I'm sorry, I was a little confused for a second. Uh, go, go, gadget. Dragon. There was a place. Yeah, I haven't figured out my masteries yet. We'll get to that eventually. There was a place, I think it was in the other zone. Uh, that was just really, really, really cool looking. Um, I mean, just the most magnificent waterfall I've ever seen in a video game. But, I mean, just again, I mean, you can see some of the variety. And then, as we go along here, you know what? I'm going to do this, because we want to make this quicker. Um, there we go, this is a lot faster. And if something attacks me and kills me, well, you guys get to laugh at me. But yeah, this is a lot faster than the flyer. Oh wow, something did attack me already. What are the odds? I guess the flyer is where it's at. Well, that was my fault. But I mean, you can you can see. I'll probably lose a little bit of clarity of all this in the translation up to YouTube. You know, video compression and all that stuff. But I mean, this is a really, really pretty environment. And it's really neat. I mean, it's a lot of the same, just killing stuff and whatnot. But going out and capturing the dragons. Let me let me see if I can show you what that's like. Let's go, um... Oh, I keep missing my buttons, guys. I'm not used to the Alt and F keys for getting stuff done. But let's go and find ourselves... Some kind of a dragon, so I can show you what it's like to tame a dragon. It's kind of funny. Uh, it's Dragon Rodeo. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. Like right here, look at this fella, alright? This is gonna, I am going to make this guy my bitch. Alright? So, you can kind of see, I have to move the W, A, S, and D keys to keep that little head of the dragon thing that's in the circles there, in that circle. 
The further out I get, the more of the yellow bar I lose, which means I will run out of stamina. Oh, crap. It, I'll run out of stamina in which I can actually use to, uh, you know, tame the dragon. Bye, guys. Ah, oh, God. This could be a problem. Kill him! Kill him! With fire! Oh, God. Bad timber wolf. Bad timber wolf. Oh, well. You guys want to see what it's like when you die? You might get lucky. Okay, so when you die, here's what happens. You can either resurrect where you died, okay? That costs you station cash. Again, another way to bleed you, but not necessary. Because if you just hit revive, it's going to take you back to the nearest town, which is where you're going to want to go anyways every so often, because inventory in this game is a complete freaking nightmare. You will fill it up all the time. All the time. So... And when you die, your equipment takes durability damage, and that's about it. There does not seem to be any other kind of death penalty or um, lowered stats or anything like that uh, when you die. It's it's all pretty. It's all pretty uh, basic, all pretty simple. Uh, I don't want to say easy, but I guess it is. But again, I mean, this is a different type of town. And again, I think it's just really cool. Um, so, you, you've seen how to tame a dragon. I, I kind of did it poorly because I got murdered by Timberwolves shortly thereafter. Um, the PvE is not exactly easy. I mean, if you go to things that are at your level range, you will die. Um, things can swarm you. Things can kill you if you hit wrong buttons or don't execute combos correctly. You will die. Um, the game isn't, like, just a, you know, a pushover when it comes to getting stuff done, which is a lot of fun. Uh, you know, but combat is fast, and I was really not paying a lot of attention to those Timberwolves. I mean, I could have probably killed them if I had, you know, been dodging like this, you know, and, and like this, and actually doing stuff and, and using my abilities instead of just spamming my click and hoping that they die. But, you know, that's what it is. So, um, this is just kind of an update. I don't know what I'm going to record. I guess, I guess the next time uh, we get a whole bunch of people together to play... We're probably going to go wandering around collecting dragons for everybody from at least different locations. Um, and we'll probably try and do some instances. That's what these little eyes are here. Um, these are instance portals, not like little mini dungeons. They have missions in them and things you can do. Uh, so maybe I'll record some of that the next time I do it. Um, but beyond that, if you guys have any questions, want to see anything specific, like me swimming in this fountain here and having a good time. Here, I'm just going to sit in here. Maybe nobody will notice me. Yeah, there we go. I'm actually pretty well hidden. Not a bad deal. Uh, if there's anything else you guys want to see, anything specific, any questions you have, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you want to join us in the game or just want to talk to us in general, we do have forums. Uh, they're starting to pick up. We're getting people registered on them. Uh, we have a lot of interesting and funny conversations going at all times. Uh, so information for that will also be in the description. I encourage you to click that. And on Twitch, um, we play on Twitch TV usually every single night. Uh, it may be this game. All the leveling I've done so far in this game was done on Twitch. We had a lot of fun, and that's how we dragged a lot of people into the game with us. Um, there's a button in the upper right corner of the video that you can click, the purple button that says Twitch. There's also information in the description below uh, with links. I encourage you guys, definitely follow us there. Um, you'd be missing out. You know, maybe maybe you don't even know what Twitch TV is. Maybe you don't care. But we have a lot of fun on it. We get uh, our watchers involved in a lot of things. We have them pick what we do, uh, the kinds of stuff that we have going on. Uh, we even have, you know, let, we let people pick the games we play, what we name our characters or what we do. So get involved. Follow us on Twitch. Hit up our forums. And uh, I thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.